deal with this, these changes is that uh, um, to have a circumstance where our economies grow and they grow together and they grow still based on the value set that united us in the first place. Um, and I think we do share just the same basic values of human dignity and human rights. And I, my colleagues have been be very colloquial with you. Um, my dad uh, had a transition where in, uh, in the city we lived in, coal was dying. It was no longer relevant. You know, he was not, my great grandfather was a, a, a coal miner. He was a mining engineer. But when, in northeastern Pennsylvania, when coal died, my dad was a salesperson. And the economy collapsed, and we moved to another part of the job in southern, into down in Delaware, very just across the Pennsylvania border. And my family, my siblings and I would hear him all often use the following expression. He said, Joe, the job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about your place to be. It's about being able to look at a child in the eye and say, honey, it's going to be okay. You need it. I think we sometimes forget that. It's about the dignity of the worker and then being able to hold their head high. And so I think we have an enormous opportunity if we think in terms of these changes, particularly in terms of global warming. What the heck is he thinking? I was an EMT uh, firefighter. Paid, paid EMT, volunteer firefighter in New Jersey. Once a firefighter, always a firefighter. And I was trained in recognizing people in a diminished capacity. Where does the global warming thing come into even the conversation that he's talking about? Is anyone else concerned that President Biden is representing the world superpower, America, and representing us and now behind closed doors with Vladimir Putin. Where's the concern? The media will allow us to run straight off a cliff and report it with a gleam in their eye. What do you think? I'm just absolutely amazed that President Biden's diminished capacity is being ignored at this time in this critical juncture in our history. What do you think?